Hey, what's up guys, Mike Patrick. In this video, I'm gonna talk about Terrace. This is gonna be a recently added video up next on my channel. Now, this is a good example of how too often as people, as educators, as instructors, we do not give enough effort to trying to put ourselves in the shoes of who we are teaching something or who we are explaining something to. And we don't do it in a way that doesn't take for granted that people may not have any understanding of what you're talking about and you have to explain things at a base level now we know when we go to universities and things of that nature even in high school where you have prerequisites where once you do start certain classes you are expected to come into classes with a certain amount of knowledge so that makes sense why maybe a professor, a teacher, or someone would start explaining something in a way that is pretty much taken for granted. Like I said, that people already have a certain base level of knowledge and understanding of whatever the curriculum is or what's being taught. But many, many times that's not necessarily the case and people still explain things in ways most of the time and teach things in ways most of the time that just take into no consideration that people may not have a clue as to what you are talking about. And that's why everybody isn't teachers. You know, someone may be great at things. Someone may have a great understanding of certain things, but that doesn't mean that everyone can teach other people. All right, like you may have a great mechanic, but he may be horrible at trying to teach somebody else how to be another mechanic because he may not be able to verbalize what's going on in his head and how he sees things and the way that he already understands certain things. And he may not be able to transfer that knowledge to someone else that's starting at a base level. So with that said, guys, I want to talk about terrors because this morning I was trying to get a, tr a really good understanding of terrors, like a real in-depth understanding. And so I went to go look up some videos on exactly what is a tariff. Like, I, you know, you, you certain things you have a, a basic idea or you think you know what it is, but if someone was to ask you, you know, okay, explain a tariff to me. What is a tariff exactly? Explain it to me. I have no clue. I'm a five-year-old little boy. How how would you explain a tariff to me? You see what I mean? Like that. And most people wouldn't, probably wouldn't even be able to do it, you know? So, okay, tariff, guys. Okay, so every video that I came across, the first three or four videos I came across, they all just did not understand. I mean, they didn't... Uh, explain it in a way they they always like they kept missing certain little points that was important for someone who doesn't have it was coming into the subject with con no understanding at all all right so they kept on talking about taxing imports and outports but it was hard for me to understand at first because i'm like what do they mean taxing imports and outports do they just mean taxing Outports, meaning whatever you're sending to another country, you're raising the price on them, if that makes sense. So, yeah, of course that makes sense. But is that is that what it, because that would make sense to me. Anything, because over here, as far as my understanding of finances and how things go, you go to a store, something costs a certain amount of money, you raise the price on on uh, whatever the, the product or the items are, and you can do that just by raising the price or you can just raise taxes. You can say this still costs $2, but now it's, instead of it being $2.05, now it's $2.10. The tax went up five, five cents, say something like that. But, um, but I kept trying to like, I, I still don't get it because they're talking about domestic versus foreign, 
which is in port versus out, out, you know, out ports, you know, and things of that nature, or just where you're getting stuff from, what's made domestically within your own home, and what's made where you're getting from outside sources, other countries, okay? And so then I really, I after listening to a few videos, and then I was able to put it together, okay, I get it now, but you had to, no one explained it like this, and this is the most important part for someone who doesn't have any basic understanding of tariffs and taxes and trade wars and things of that nature what it is guys is the most important part of understanding tariffs is tariffs are slapped on countries that are actually sending you stuff like at first i didn't i didn't know i didn't understand that you had to pay to do business if that makes sense so i always just took for granted that Say if, if China sends stuff over here, I thought we actually, I thought we was paying China to, to, to use their, their resources and the things that they were sending over here. And then maybe we would give them a lump sum of money for a certain amount of wholesale goods to come over here because it was just made easier for us. Perhaps they had more resources, they had more people to be able to produce the things that we needed and it was just easier for us to bring all that stuff in i thought we was paying other countries to bring their stuff in but really how it works is we actually tax other countries to be able to do business or really we tax what happened what it is is we tax domestic companies okay to do business period so it's just like when you go to a flea market it started making more sense to me it was like oh that's just like if you go to a flea market or it's just like if you get a business you have to pay for a business license or to some degree even within like within our country you got you have examples of the fact that you have to pay just to do business so it makes perfect sense now that okay for domestic companies who get a lot of their goods from foreign countries because it would be cheaper to buy it from foreign countries as opposed to trying to make these things domestically they have to pay our government a tax in order to be able to go to china and bring in all of these goods now because the reason it, it was hard for me to understand too is because I'm like, well, how does that affect other countries? Like, why does that? Why is that a big deal for China? Like, why you think you're slapping China on the wrist by raising tariffs when tariffs are are uh, things that that actually affect businesses within your domestic, like your domestication, your country. Like, you're not. I, in my, I was at first. I'm thinking like you're not affecting China. You're affecting us, you know. But it does affect China because what happens is, for example, you raise the taxes on people, on companies domestically. They have to pay. So now they are having to pay more because they have to pay more in taxes. Okay. So therefore, now they stop looking at China. They're trying to find other means to be able to either. Um, get their resources domestically you know if, if it's more cost effective now or um, they may go to other countries so you are kind of you're, you're stepping on China's toes because you're affecting their business because if people if it's a thousand countries I mean um, companies within our country who does business with China as far as getting their resources for their company and then you raise the taxes and they're trying to go elsewhere to get things cheaper now china is not getting the business that they had so that is that is making china suffer and then um so now what happened is we're in a trade war because now china has start begun to slap tariffs on us okay so the things that we were sending to china which is not nearly as much as china is sending to us okay now we're not able to uh the way they're raising the prices on china you know in order for china to be able to do business so or they're raising or china is raising the the co the the cost to do business so therefore the things that they do get from us is costing more so perhaps chinese companies will go elsewhere like for example they get a lot of soybeans i think from us you know but that's real is is it affects us much more based on the fact that we don't produce enough stuff that we give to china so therefore people who like over here already you have farmers 
that are taking a really big hit because pretty much their whole livelihood may be based on farming soybeans and selling it to China. Well, now if you slapping tariffs on China, China's not getting the soybeans. Now you are not getting the soybeans from us. You're cutting into the business of the people over here who does farming, who make their livelihood off of the business that they do with countries like China. Okay, makes sense. And so now you have people domestically within here that's suffering because of the tariffs. Okay, and then also you have people, the reason that it hurts this country is because also now with the tariffs that we raise, that we slap on China, you have people within this country, you have uh, domestic companies who now have to raise their prices because guess what? They have to pay more to be able to do business. So now they have to raise their prices, okay? And now that trickles down to the consumer because they have to raise their prices. Now the consumer has to pay more money. So now you got people who had, who China is slapping their tariffs. So now you got people who can't do business, who can't make their livelihood that's over here, you know, that's sending things, that was sending things over to say China. And then also, you have businesses that's here that we are slapping tariffs on China and then and so therefore they have to raise their prices all right so it's it's a cra it's crazy man it's it's kind of crazy but that's the understanding of tariffs hopefully like i said that's a good way or a, a simplistic way to understand it for just regular everyday people you know like you know someone who may come from my demographic my background Let's say one of my boys, you know what I'm saying, or something like that, and one of your your children. Like if you never really understood tariffs, if you couldn't really decipher or comprehend um, the, a subject like that just by seeing it on CNN right quick or on Fox, you know, maybe it's like the same language. Because, you know, for a lot of people, like inner city kids and stuff, like, you know, we grew up with the bonics and things like that, man. It's just like somebody having a whole other language, you know? So hopefully this was a good translation and that's what I like I try to do is I try to be I, you know I try to be able to, I try to talk in a way that everybody can understand me but also I try to talk in a way that you know people from like I said my demographic fellas that I might have grew up with girls that I might have grew up with things like that you know can understand so they can understand certain things put it in a way that it could be understood for them you know while yet being understanding for anybody so you know so that's a basic rundown on tariffs, guys, and that's why it's important, you know. One more, one more rundown, one more again for my, for my kids and everybody else's kids. Tariffs, taxes, the taxes are sl actually slapped on the domestication of your own people, and you're slapping taxes on them to make them have to, the, the, it's raising the price that they have to pay in order to do business with outside countries, outside sources, okay? So therefore, they have to either seek other places and so that takes away the reason why that's punishment for the outside source is because that t that's taking away business from the outside source okay but then they can slap t uh, tariffs on you and take away your business so therefore like i said in our country for a lot of people who produce soybeans and things like that that we send out to other countries and in great numbers you know these countries slap tariffs on us now they're not um, they're not able to sell their their products which hurts our country okay all right guys peace hopefully this was a educational video